Okay, so you just found an old computer, and you're thinking, oh, I'll just plug that thing and see if it works, right? Um, what happens is on the power supply, as you can see, it's, it's got quite a bit of dirt in there. And what happens is that moist, that dirt, those, that dust, collects moisture. And if you don't clean all that out before you plug it in, pop, then you got a short. And then you need to get a new power supply for an old computer you never even wanted, right? If you want to resurrect the data. But yeah, you got an old power supply. Uh, you got an old, you found an old computer, you want to see if it comes up. You want to clean all this stuff out first. You want to make sure it's nice and dry. This dust can create shorts and then just basically tells you the power supply. So, yeah, you can see this dust here. This dust will actually create a short if it's moist. So, you got stuff like this on your board. You're going to get a short in it when you plug it in. So, before you plug any of those old computers in, they've been sitting around in somebody's garage somewhere, you want to make sure and clean all this crap off. Because otherwise, you just wasted a power supply, right? And you'll never know, unless you get a new power supply, what was on that computer. So that's your Okay, so if you don't have alcohol, you get a paintbrush, good stiff bristles. Just get all this dust and crap out of here, right? Then, it looks like I've actually... So this is the fan that came disconnected when I was pulling this out to look at it. And you can get it fairly clean by just uh, uh, taking and brushing all this out of here. And uh, you might be able to bring this thing back to life. Um, just make sure and get any of that stuff that looks like it could short out of there, that dust. If you got compressed air, you can blow it out as well. I don't know if this one's going to work or not. Um, this one's got, it, it's been sitting outside for a long time. Well, it's, what is it, this uh, Dimension 3000 Intel Celeron with a custom start button. And you can see that it's been sitting for quite a while. I don't know if we'll be able to bring this back to life or not. Probably got left out in the rain. You can see the top is fairly rusted. So, we'll just get that power supply back together and see what we can do. Okay, you found an old computer and you're wondering if you can make it work, right? Ah, you gotta get all this dust and crap out of here. Anything that will gather moisture. If it gathers moisture, it can short out, basically. So you want to clean all this dust and crap out if you got compressed air. Go ahead and get that out of there. Make sure there's no dust bridging any of the contacts. Um, then you want to clean the power supply and always be careful about static discharge. Uh, yeah, this is get all this stuff out of here. What happens is this dust will gather moisture and then cause it short. So, you get it all cleaned out, it's turned on, doesn't do anything. No screen, reset your RAM. Make sure the chips are clean. These here, all these connections are clean. And inside here is clean. Blow that out with compressed air. And look for swollen capacitors. So these capacitors all look pretty good. Um, so the capacitors are like this, right? They're flat on the top. If they're bulging, you may need to replace them. And uh, that may mean that they're bad. If they're bulging and weeping, if you see some like pasty stuff coming out the bottom or the top, basically you'll have to get new ones if you want to bring it back to life. That's one thing. Okay, check. we got it plugged in. And moment of truth. We got power on the board. That's a good sign. See what happens. Mm, that don't work. That don't work. 
I'm gonna get a flashing light. This fan's not coming on, that's the problem. I'm gonna plug in the hard drive and see what it does. You can see this thing, it hasn't popped or sparked at this point. So at least we've got the power supply clean, we've got the motherboard clean. It does have a flashing light there. That will indicate something. I'm not sure what. Okay, I'm going to power it down and then uh, plug the hard drive in and see what, see what that does. Okay, so typically, typically a computer that's been sitting that long, you can tell by the rust on it, is going to have a bad BIOS battery. This is a 3 volt battery. Put it on the meter or you can put it on your tongue. Put your tongue between these two connections and you should feel something. If you don't feel anything, this battery's dead. That's the easy way to tell. You can get these at the dollar store, the dollar twenty-five store, whatever. The Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar General usually. These are a dollar, uh, dollar twenty-five for two. That's a pretty good deal. <clears throat> and we can try this and then see if that's going to work for us. Um, typically these are in here pretty tight so they don't get moist or um, come loose by themselves. And we'll give that a try and see what happens. Okay, so the new BIOS battery, battery didn't do anything. So, yeah. I mean, it's a little bit of effort. We tried to make it work, but not happening. So, I can salvage the RAM and the hard drive and the board for bits and pieces. Possibly the power supply. CD-ROM, I don't know if it's worth salvaging or not. But, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And, uh, happy computing. Computer tip for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Need any help? You can contact me 707 443 8347 Pacific Time. And the best way to clean this off is probably a toothbrush and alcohol. Yeah. Or electrical contact cleaner. Just spray it on. Toothbrush, brush it off, right?